All right, welcome back. Game number two in the best of five for the safety net. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you've been enjoying the tournament so far. We are three best of fives deep at this point. We, of course, have Cats versus Nurtio at the very end to wrap this all up. But sending a very early probe out, spawning in the northern location of the map. He's up one at the moment. It is the red Protoss from Millennium Lobo. The bottom position as the blue Protoss, it's Minigun. And I forgot to turn sounds on again. My bad about that, guys. Sorry. Do need them. Uh... Well, this is very, very close to many guns base. Yes, it is. But I think. Nope, never mind. I was going to say, if he puts on the south side, it might actually be out of vision when the probe goes <laughs> out of scout. Like... It seems like it's going to be a double one, so he's keeping the probe here. Maybe. Uh. If it is it's gonna be zeal double zealots, I mean, this is <laughs> this is really the low, the road less traveled. You just don't see this in PvP much anymore. He could do two gateways into Cyber. Oh, and this is the twelve gateway. Okay, so there's the oh, gas, gas going back at home. Okay. But he may have left this over here with the Cyber Core across the map, yeah. and he might just be going all in with this. Yeah. Uh, becomes the two gates after, like it's one gate Cyber Core, two gates. And hey. he's this, so uh, a bit awkward. That's on second gateway. All right. Well, last game there was some cool micro that Lobo did with the blink stalkers, and the archons really helped out. This game, it's just gonna be pure, pure micro. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's because they changed the European server. It's like minigun. I hope you get the very key frame drop when uh, it's most important, or you know he's up one and it's a best of five and he's Lobo. Uh, but both are good. Yeah, right now he does see that his opponent's trying to match him on production, but the advantage goes... I mean, not advantage, what I've been saying here. The difference, the key difference is, Lilibo's going to be able to get these out sooner. And while that might not be a big deal initially, it's probably around the fourth or fifth round of units that he's going to have that extra stock or just through production. And uh, if he can take decent fights up to that point, it'll be okay. Minigun also has that second gas going for him, which isn't really going to help a whole lot right now, but uh, in fact, actually, uh, detriments from this a little bit. The second gas lets me get the mothership core, but it's a lot of mineral spent here instead of on a defense. So it's a little bit questionable how this is going to go. But the mothership core, given enough time to get the photon overcharge, will be great. But we've also seen just how desperate this gets and how easy a mothership core can go down to something like a like a stalker. Yeah. Uh, but we've also seen people lose a mothership core and still hold on. So hey, we'll yeah. see what happens. It's going to be two stalkers versus two in just a couple more seconds. But right now, Lobo does have the edge. No probes up. There's the first probe. That's Lobos. Taking the fight with the Mothership Core a little bit more than he wants. He doesn't lose shields just yet. Zealot for Zealot. Oh, actually, Minigun Zealot does live. That's a pretty big deal. But there's that extra stalker for the time being. Again, like after each round of, uh, not warp pins, I guess, but uh, creation, he will pull ahead. And even picking off that stalker is going to be huge. Zealot finally goes down now as well. Now it's 3 to 1. Now Mothership Core. Oh, I feel like he could dive for this almost. Yeah, uh, the stalker's taking so long to come out. Minigun only just now starts to work. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be quite probes. a while. Has to pull the probes. He pulls all the probes. There's not going to be any mining. Just enough for one more stalker. Yeah, it was crazy, too, because we saw Minigun do some really cool control with this sort of scenario where he was pulling five probes at a time. It was really precise. It was very exact for what he needed to do. But uh, the photo overcharge does go off, and this will buy him some time. Thank goodness, because it was looking quite dicey. Oh, one versus five stalkers would have been way too much. Um, I still think even it is still, looking kind of dicey, though. I, I agree. Like, he's still, he's winning out by more stalkers, like the same production, but Lilbo has more stalkers right now. Uh, and that mother should... Oh, well, okay. That helped. I don't, I don't even know why he left that in the front lines, to be honest. It was stupid. <laughs> yeah, a little silly. But yeah, when the, once the photo overcharge runs out, it didn't really change the fact that it's still more stalkers for Lobo. I guess it, what it did do though is clear up the high ground vision. That pilot was letting him pivot around the ramp a lot more than I think he should have been able to. Hmm. He's also up in probes now. Probes yeah, he did pick off quite a few yeah, from the ones that are pulled. He also sniped him from the mineral lines directly when his uh, opponent refused to fight him, but just pushes on in and Minigun's got to pull the probes one more time. Picks off the Mothership Core. And every time he pulls the probes, of course, there's more lost mining. Look at the income over the last minute of the game, guys. Just shooting ahead for Little Bow in big ways, too. Not just like a small income advantage. That's a huge amount of uh, money to have over your opponent. Is focusing down the weak stalkers. Good game is called, and Little Bow will take game number two in this best of five. 
But because that one was short and